ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining tonight and welcome to the kitchen in which we are once again alone. So this is your host Nino guiding you through another project of telegraphy regarding the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller as available on those two digistamp units. Now, essentially, in tonight's video, we shall be seeing the implementation of an idea I already mentioned in my previous video regarding telegraphy and that chip, and namely to have on the three pins that I have available, not one long resistor ladder and for the input and two distinct and separate lamps for the output, but instead, as I will, as I will show you behind, the keyboard is cut and separated into two smaller resistor ladders, therefore offering better precision and only one single output unit. And to this output pin I have in fact connected both lamps. Of course I could have removed the lamp and just let it with one LED, but I thought for aesthetic reasons and for attention um, it would be easier to actually keep the one pin connected to two LEDs and thereby to see the results better. Other than that, the principle of operation for the user still remains the same. When you are sending information from one telegraphy unit to the other, you're just simply pressing here the buttons for the 26 letters of the alphabet plus a 27th space sign. And the receipt is happening by receiving three numbers, which are going to be giving you the coordinates within this field here, which is essentially a sort of three-dimensional Polybius square variant, like a Polybius cube or something, where, you know, in a two-dimensional version, you're just getting a, an X and Y coordinate and you know which letter it is. In this three-dimensional version, you're just also first getting a figure as to which square to address. So you're going to get three numbers, each between one and three. And if you would be getting, for instance, I don't know, two, three, three, the coordinate would be second square, third row, third letter, an R. Now, if you think that's somewhat cumbersome, I assure you my little seven-year-old daughter was in fact able to decode messages that way and she was reading it as naturally as if it were normal text. In fact, I myself can't read it that well. So, if a child can handle that, I assume we can count it as a workable principle. Now, what happens as I no longer can display numbers in binary? Well, I opted for something else and let me show you. Let me show you three ones, which is A. First square, first row, first element. So, this is simply a long and continuous signal. Let me show you a two, a slower blinking signal, which would be, let's say, an N, second square, second line, second element. Okay, and if you want to see the total flutter, that would be the space character, and that looks like this, fast blinking. So, these are pretty distinguishable, and indeed it is again possible, thereby, only using the five available pins on the 80 tiny 85 to implement a telegraph. And once again, we're having a three-wire serial connection between the two units. Here a little bit of cable rolled up, but of course it could be extended, and if I would be writing hello, it would look like this. H, that means one, it will be one, three, two. So one, three, two. You see, it's pretty well distinguishable. E for hello, so that is one, two, two. Uh, 
and then two L's, an L being two, one, three. And an O being two, two, three. So you can see actually that this is pretty well notable and I actually prefer this version of the telegram, telegraph than the previous one because what I stumbled upon was that this long resistor ladder which was the background of the full keyboard was so sensitive to minuscule influences from the surroundings that it needed to be recalibrated so often as to make it unusable. Instead, cutting the long resistor ladder into two shorter ones made the whole thing way more practicable. The question was just the transmission of the information. Once again, we're having here the feature, and in fact it has been improved, to save text, which is then automatically transmitted. And again, that is activated through pressing space three times. So first space, second space, third space. And now it will do one space by itself. Right, and now I can write my word. I'll just write one extra space. It is not transmitting. I turned that off in this version. Whatever you are typing during the recording phase is not received by the other telegram. So you could like pull the plug in the meantime and reset the whole thing if you are of the opinion this is not going well. Let us just transmit the word fox because it is brief. F. O X So that's Fox and now again I can write three spaces And now it is finishing writing zeros to the EEPROM. And automatic transmission of F, O and X is beginning, followed by spaces. And you see how the other side is now receiving the word fox in a repeated fashion. Now, I also implemented here an exit mechanism. If I no longer want to have fox transmitted, I just press that. I have to keep it pressed. And eventually, doing this a couple of times, Yeah, until only this unit blinks, turns off the automatic transmission mode. So, that's actually pretty decent functionality and I am very satisfied with the course this project took and therefore I even decided to give it a name. The Communications Hub and a Reactive Instrument for Simply Sending Information or in brief, Chrissy. So, Chrissy is extremely successful and if we just look at the back side of it, you will see that the design is pretty similar to the one I had already shown you in the original version. And in that there is, that there is this, this resistor line, only now it has been interrupted. Here a connection has been cut and the resistor has been channeled out towards negative 
and here the connection is going towards this other pin that I am now using. Up here the main change is that the two LEDs are no longer addressed independently but that instead they are connected both to these two wires so they have a shared plus and minus and are activated jointly. In other words changing my um, execution of the hardware from one version to the other did not require all that many changes. Oh yeah and while I did not note it down here this is no longer a 10k resistor this is now just a 2k resistor just like the figure next to it. But other than that things remained pretty much the same and yeah that's it with the demonstration of Chrissy. I hope you enjoy today's video. Should you be inspired to create your own little 80 tiny 85 telegraph, I do confidently assure you it is great fun. I hope to greet you here soon again for further explorations and experiments and if you aren't a subscriber yet then very friendly I am encouraging you to consider becoming a member in our exclusive club. Until our next encounter I'm wishing you a wonderful time. Thanks for watching and from me, goodbye.